Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a shared preference in Flutter Android. First, we need to integrate a shared preference package in our app. To do that, click this terminal icon. Write this command and hit enter. Wait for the operation to be complete. Then, open the pubspec.yaml file and click the pubget button. This will integrate the required package into our app. Now, let's look at the main.dart file. These are the imports. First, we create the stateless widget called my app in the main function. This is the my app stateless widget. We create a material app and apply a theme in the build function. The home attribute is set to a stateful widget called my home page. This is the my home page stateful widget. Here we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore my home page state. This is underscore my home page state class, here we will design our app. This is our shared preference variable. In the build function, we have a scaffold widget upon which we will build other widgets. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. Here we specify the title of the app bar. The body attribute is set to a column widget. In the column widget, first, we show a simple text which says, save the following data to the shared preference. Then, we have another text widget, which displays which data we are going to save into the shared preference. We could also have an edit text field and make the user type the text to be saved, but I find this way simpler to just demonstrate the concept. So we are going to save various kinds of data, like, string, integer, decimal numbers, true-false data, and an array of characters. Then, below this, we have two buttons. Save data and get data. When the save data button is clicked, we call the save data function. And when the get data button is clicked, we call the get data function. This is the save data function. Here, first, we create an instance of the shared preference. Then, we put all the various kinds of data into the shared preference using their respective functions. And then, we display a snack bar saying, data saved. And this is the get data function. Here, first, we create an instance of the shared preference. Then, we retrieve data of each kind. Then, we store all the data in the string format in a variable. And finally, we show that variable in a snack bar. Let's run the app. As you can see, when I clicked the save button, our data got saved in the shared preference. And when I clicked the get data button, the same data was retrieved and shown in a snack bar. So that's it. That's how you can implement a shared preference in Flutter Android. Thank you.